Six is all about uh, mutations and genetic disorders. Uh, so mutation can be any sort of variation in genetic materials. It can be sudden and it can be permanent. It can be adaptive, which can result in improvement. However, it can be maladaptive, uh, like Down syndrome, uh, which can be really, I mean, it can have really um, negative consequences for a specific species. Um, here you can see um, most prenatal mutations um, end in miscarriage. That's true. Um, however, only 1% of the baby have, let's say, a detectable um, sort of chromosomal mutations. For example, only 1% of those uh, maladaptive mutations can be monitored during uh, prenatal screening. Um, and you can decide to do abortion or not as mom. Um, but 99% of them, we cannot see them, we cannot monitor them, uh, but they can cause miscarriage. So what causes um, genetic disorders? Uh, it can be biology, it can be uh, based on parents, uh, recessive genes, it can be um, an error in cell division, like meiosis and mitosis, and it can be uh, created by teratogens. One question, one important one is, uh, what is stratagens? Um, stratagens can be anything negative, such as like alcohol consumption, substance abuse, um, substance use, sorry. Uh, it can be environmental toxins uh, during pregnancy. Uh, for example, in big cities like New York City, uh, which um, there are so many uh, pollution in air, uh, this can cause um, higher probability for having a child with ASD, autism syndrome, um, or any sort of um, uh, atypical development. Um, so, I mean, it is not a fact. This is like really um, controversial. Some people are saying that autism is because of biology. Some other, they are just saying that, no, this is all about environment. But the fact is we can see higher number of ASD um, in uh, bigger cities, uh, which can be the fact um, that saying that this is because of the environment and toxins um, in those big cities. So back to genetic disorders, uh, hereditary autosomal disorders, um, they, they can be based on dominant genes or uh, recessive genes. But the fact is, if dominant uh, dominant genes would be um, like, um, if they would be bad, we can just understand that. We can just see that in parents because they are just dominant. Uh, most of the time, the problem is recessive genes. Uh, for example, let's say um, a dad has Huntington disease, um, recessive genes like you you cannot see um the like um that sort of disease in that however if you would um do some sort of genetic experience um in the lab you can just uh discover yes they do have the gene so if like that recessive genes would pair with mom's recessive genes it can definitely cause uh, a baby with huntington disease um, there are more examples in the book. You can just uh, check them because they are very important. They can uh, definitely be your test one um, question. Another example of recessive genes or traits is uh, about Drake. I guess uh, you know him, uh, like his appearance is just so different from his child. You can see the child is blonde. Uh, the child has, um, I guess, green eyes, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is because maybe at some point, uh, Drake, uh, I mean, let's be positive. Hopefully Drake had a recessive um, genes of uh, green eyes, but since uh, his black eyes gene were just uh, more dominant, it didn't show up in him, but it was just passing along and uh, we can see that in his child. So again, if he would have like two recessive genes, they can just uh, show up. Otherwise, they wouldn't because the dominant one would just cover them. So we have more examples for disease uh, by recessive genes. We have PKU and we have SCA. Uh, we already talked about SCA. It is uh, sickle cell anemia, which is just uh, more common in African-American population.
One important point is about size of Y chromosomes. Uh, we already mentioned that it is very important. And like you can see here, uh, the left one is X chromosome and um, the right one is Y chromosome. And it's just so small. I guess it is just about uh, actually the, the third of the X chromosome. This size difference can cause Y chromosome to be more fragile and can cause uh, different kind, uh, kind of disorders, um, which we can just call them X-linked disorders. So X-linked disorders uh, mean sex-linked uh, disorders because it is all about uh, sex chromosomes. And for example, let me give you an example. For example, if the baby would be a girl, uh, she would have XX, two X chromosomes. These two X chromosomes, they are just big and they can they they do have more nutrition that can cover any sort of disorders. However, if the baby would be boy, it's gonna be XY. Y chromosome, this is more fragile, and um the possibility of covering um any sort of disease in X chromosome from Y chromosome can be hard. So basically the chance for having um, a baby with disorder can be more in guys in general. For example, this is the case in hemophilia. We can see more um, boy babies with hemophilia. However, uh, I mean, this is not the case for girls. I can go on and on and on, but I will suggest you to check this video because this is very important and it is actually describing everything uh, it makes everything so easy, so just go for that. Um, here it's just all about errors. Uh, for example, physical changes in chromosomes. This is just most of the time based on environment and um, based on the situation. For example, there, there might be some hazards in the environment, and if you would be exposed uh, to them as a mom uh, during your pregnancy, it can cause some disorders in your child. So the good news is human is just doing some serious stuff, human genome project. It is just such an important one. It is about mapping the genome uh, and just locating uh, genes um, on the chromosomes. It can help us to understand uh, what uh, gene can do. I mean, which gene can do what? For example, I already mentioned that, for example, AGTC can be eye color. Just imagine if we would just map and locate AGTC, we would know that AGTC is just on the, let's say, uh, southwest of the chromosome. We know that, okay, this is the place, so we can decide what kind of children we want. For example, I want a baby boy with blue eyes, blonde hair, or I don't know, maybe a darker skin because it's going to be phenomenal. He's going to be a model, right? So it's it just literally mapping all the genes in chromosomes and there are like so many debates around them uh for example some people are just saying that oh this is not ethical it is not really good to locate genes and uh predict everything before uh, the child would be born however some other people would say that no this is so good it can help us for gene therapy it can just help us to prevent any sort of disorders in our children and it is just more beneficial than uh, being bad or negative. The project is still ongoing. Um, it is not done. I mean, I feel like we are still like in 20% of the project, uh, but it's, it's very interesting because we, are, we would be able to predict uh, different disorders. And I'm really positive about that, honestly. I feel like, um, it is it is really positive it can help us uh, to prevent any sort of down syndrome or autism um huntington or any other sort of disease so um there're going to be some ways uh to prevent having a child with disorders for example genetic counseling is very important uh you're going to go and see the doctor before getting pregnant or even during your pregnancy, but the best way just doing that uh, before getting pregnant. Uh, the doctor, based on your race, uh, your age, and your family story, can just actually suggest you what to do 
get pregnant or not, or take some vitamins or pills. Um, it can help you a lot, especially before the conception. So, like I said, uh, counseling includes a collection of family story, uh, genetic testing, and discussion of test results. So, maybe you would ask yourself why discussion of test results? There is a reason because um, the result going to be probability. It's not like a fact that like 100% your child going to have Down syndrome. The doctor would just tell you that, hey, the possibility is like, um, let's say like 75%. So you can decide to get pregnant or no. Or even if you would have a child with just Down syndrome uh, during your pregnancy, you still can decide to just have the child or not. This is, I mean, the decision is always uh, up to mom, maybe dad, but yeah. Okay, see you in last section.